God thanks for all mothers. We celebrate those who have been like a mom to us. We give thanks for those who long to be mothers. And we remember the moms we've lost, who now dwell in God's heavenly kingdom. Today, God, we give thanks for these amazing people. Happy Mother's Day, Mom, and Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. Happy Mother's Day! Happy, happy Mother's Day! Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom! We love you! Have a great day! Happy Mother's Day! I praise God for my mama and for all the women role models in my life. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day, Nana! We love you! Have a great day! Bye! Happy Mother's Day to our mom, and to our Grandma Sandy, and to our Grandma Jerry, and to all the, of the other mothers in the world. An immense thank you to all moms, and all who love like moms. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for loved, lived out, through moms and through those who love with compassionate, strong, loving, tender care, filled with wisdom and faith. God, thank you. Would you bless, sustain, and guide all mothers? We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Refreshed by the resurrection life we share in Christ, let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We thank you, risen Christ, for these waters where you make us new, leading us from death to life, from tears to joy. We bless you, risen Christ, that your spirit comes to us in these grace-filled waters of baptism. Like rains of our thirsting earth, like streams that revive our souls, like cups of cool water shared with strangers. Breathe your peace on your church when we hide in fear. Clothe us with your mercy and forgiveness. Send us companions on our journey as we share your life. Make us one, risen Christ. Cleanse our hearts. Shower us with life. To you be given all praise. 
with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you joys beyond understanding. Pour out our hearts such love for you that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises, which exceed all we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Acts. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The believers from among the Jewish, Jewish people who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? So Peter ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Most high, 
reading from 1 John. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey God's commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey the commandments, which are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies, for the Spirit is the truth, the Word of God, Word of life. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 15th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in my Father's love. I have said these things to you so that you may know joy, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, 
to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I choose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In today's Gospel, we hear Jesus say this, No one has greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. So often we've probably heard this phrase used before in many different settings. Some of us probably still have those strong bonds with friends and family members that we would want to do whatever we could to care for them. My grandmother, when I was growing up, she used to tell me that you'd know who your friends are in a very particular sort of situation. She said to me when I was very young, sitting at the dinner table at my grandmother's house, that there will be times that you will find that you may not be able to have a family member come out to do something when you need them to. But you'll know who your friends are if they show up and are sitting next to you in jail one day. And it struck me with some amount of what in the world did Grandma just say when I first heard her share this with me. But she has a point. Those friends, those people who become family, those bonds are so strong that, yes, they will likely be the ones that sit with you in a jail cell. As I stand today in front of this picture with Jesus and disciples surrounding him, I can't help but that story my grandmother shared with me about how you'll know how good your friends are was so very true for many of Jesus' disciples who, even after Jesus was crucified, found themselves imprisoned. For doing what? Proclaiming the good news. For sharing the love of God, having it abide as Jesus himself asked them to and asks us to. Jesus says, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you abide in my love. Oftentimes when we think about the commandments, of course, we have the list of the Ten Commandments that run through our mind. Or maybe we focus on that greatest of commandments that Jesus shares, that we are to love one another as the Lord God loves us. I wonder sometimes if thinking about what Jesus calls us to do, we lose sight of some of the more basic pieces too. To love. Beyond all the other stuff, simply to love. Love is at the heart of all of the things that Jesus asks us as members of the body of Christ to do together. When we care for the sick, when we care for those who are in need, when we proclaim the good news, it's supposed to come from a place of love. A love that would carry us to places that we've never been before. And yes, as my grandmother would say, would prove whether or not your love was so great for a friend that you'd be willing to sit with them in a jail cell somewhere. Siblings in Christ, brothers and sisters, I wonder sometimes if we really do abide in love. If we can really be gracious with one another, let God's love be the final answer rather than our own desires or wants in a moment. Loving is hard. It's not something that just happens. It takes real effort. And it takes a real amount of commitment on all of our parts to 
truly love as God loves us. And yes, to even, as Jesus did, lay down one's life for the sake of those whom we love. That's ultimately really what this Christian love we share is all about. To be willing to give up everything in order to share God's love with our neighbor and recognize that that neighbor is no longer a stranger, but a friend and an equal member of the body of Christ. Our goal this day is to strive towards that love, to abide in it, to wrap ourselves up in it, and to live into this world with a sense of hope and courage that if God's love is so great, that maybe, just maybe, we could reflect a little bit of it. Thanks be to God. Amen. how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Kneels at the feet of his friends, silently washes their feet. Master who pours out himself for them. Yesu, 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 fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from are wealthy and poor, varied in color and race. Neighbors are nearby and far away. Yesu, 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 fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. These are the ones we will serve. These are the ones we will love. All these are neighbors to us and you. Yesu, 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 fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Kneel at the feet of our friends, silently washing their feet. your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the, On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Alive in the risen Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we bring our prayers before God who promises to hear us and answer in steadfast love. Loving God, you love us and call us your and call us to love others. Stoke the fire of passion for your love in your church so that we can share your love with all the world. God of love, receive our prayer. Creating God, the earth praises you, the seas roar and the hills sing for joy. Fill the earth with your love so that by their song, all creatures of land and sea and sky 
burrowing and soaring, may call us to join with them in praise. God of love, receive our prayer. Faithful Savior, you conquer the world not with weapons, but with undying love. Plant your word in the hearts of the nation's leaders to give them your spirit, so that the peoples of the world may live in peace. God of love, receive our prayer. Caring healer, you forget no one. Provide for those needing homes or medical care. Bless the service and advocacy ministries in the Sauk Valley. Be present with those who are sick or suffering, especially those we name out loud or in our hearts. God of love, receive our prayer. Gracious God, as a mother comforts her child, you comfort us. Bless mothers and mothering people in our lives. Comfort those who miss their mothers, mothers who grieve, those who grieve because they cannot be mothers, and those who have difficult relationship with their mothers. God of love, receive our prayer. In the hope of new life in Christ, we raise our prayers to you, trusting in your never-ending goodness and mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all and also with you. Let us share this peace with one another and all the world. Truly, our lives are an offering. How we live, serve, and give, it matters. Thank you for praying for, serving, and supporting the mission and ministry of St. John's, St. Paul, and Emmanuel Lutheran Churches. Let us pray. God of love, you call us beloved children and welcome us to your table. Receive our lives and the gifts we offer. Abide with us and send us in service to a suffering world for the sake of your beloved child, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death, and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, with the angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Blessed are you, O God of the universe. Your mercy is everlasting and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. 
gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Come, Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Holy Spirit. With your holy ones of all times and all places, with the earth and all its creatures, with sun, moon, and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy Trinity, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The risen Christ extends this table to us. Eat and be satisfied. spring of joy through this meal you have put gladness in our hearts satisfy the hunger still around us and send us joyfully as witnesses that your love may bring joy to the hearts of all people through Jesus Christ our Lord amen may our gracious God grant you a spirit of wisdom to know and to love the risen Lord Jesus, the God of faith, of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen.
Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Go in peace. Share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Yeah.